So this thing can adjust here. Once you get this thing set up, right? You can adjust it to where you zero this thing out if you need to, right? You'll hear this certain amount of clicks. Some of these vendors are a little older than other vendors, right? So what will happen is some of these clicks will be exactly 15 degrees. You've used one before, right? Yeah, that one click. I always use. You always use the travel. So much. This is the one time where you actually will use that travel because because it comes in handy. Once you gauge the bed to 90 and figure out what the travel is on that, you can always chop up your numbers and divide, you know, proportionally to figure out what an offset would be or how to bend to 30 degrees. Or if you want, depending on the model, you can maybe trust these arrows. But you can set this by just loosening this screw up and adjusting this thing to zero out. Make sure this thing's zeroed out. But these things aren't hard to use. Roman? Right, so what's that? How does this work? Well, okay, here's the thing. You'll hear a certain amount of clicks that click for the gears, right? And sometimes these are perfect. Sometimes it's like click. Okay, I've gone five degrees or 15 degrees or whatever. And sometimes they're off a little bit, right? So you can't always trust the clicks. I mean, this is just from start. telling you where it is for the shoot. For the degrees. So like right now, let's just say we're set at zero. I can slide this thing, this arrow, I open this up. Oh, and as this bend, this is stationary. And yes. Okay. Yes. So I can set this thing like this, set it to zero, right? right. We'll see if this works. So that thing's moved pretty close to 10 to 15 degrees. I don't know for sure. That's what I was saying. And then you hear one click. Two clicks. Right. Yeah. So now I'm at about 20. So it looks like this thing's moving 10 degrees. So every click should be about 5 degrees, right? Roman, you want to try this and see what that feels like? It's, it's heavy. It's not that heavy. I think most of you guys should be able to push this thing down. slower than a triple nickel. I've used these things up on roofs. I've used these things like in basements in really isolated areas where I didn't have access to power. I was bending smaller pipe usually like three quarter inch stuff. It's great for three quarter inch rigid. You know, I don't want to have to sit there with a one inch EMT bender bending a three quarter inch rigid. The bends just don't come out that perfect. With this, you can bend them pretty good. The other thing about a Chicago is you can get a real tight radius on your, um, like three quarter inch pipe and all the other pipe. This tends to be a tighter shoe than a, a triple knee. Thank you. 